Let's look at text to speech. All right, so today we're going to take a look at doing text to speech. We have a text edit here where we're able to go ahead and type in anything we would like, such as the classic hello world. We can hit speak and text to speech is going to activate on our device. Hello world. And you see on the side, we can select Zira, David, Hello World, or Irina. Hello World. And of course, this will work for all the voices that you have installed on your computer. If you have English, then David, I believe, is the default there. Maybe even David and Zira, I don't know. Uh, but the point is, we'll be able to select from our drop down here which voice we want to use out of the voices that we have installed and use the speak button to enable TTS for anything that we have typed inside of this box. All right, so how do we go about doing this? Well, I just have a control for my main note here. It doesn't really matter. I have a normal button for my speak. It has the press signal connected to my script. I just have a text edit here for typing in and an option button for the drop down. I'm using default settings for everything, aside from, of course, the speak text on the button here. Now, something that you're gonna need to do is head up into your project settings, and we're gonna look for audio, general, and you'll find text to speech here. This will be off by default. You will need to turn this on, and this will require you to restart your, uh, restart the editor. All right, so let's jump into the code. How do we make this happen? All right, well, to start things off here on my script, I just have three exports here so I can get easy access to my text edit, my speak button, and our drop down button, our drop down menu. So this way we have, we can easily access this, but we're gonna need one more variable here. I'm gonna call this voices. This is gonna be an array and this is going to be an array of dictionaries. Now, what this is going to be is this is going to be our list of all the voices for TTS that we have installed on our computer. So to get this, we actually have to access the display server dot and we can go get. Uh, is it TTS or voices? I had that a little backwards. It's not t get TTS, it's TTS get voices. And that will go ahead and show us all the voices on the computer. So if we go ahead and print, we can come down here and print out the voices and are ready. And when we run that, we'll see down in the output an array full of dictionaries and each dictionary is its own voice. We can see it's got an ID, it has a name, it's got the language and that's it now we can use these as you can see the names there is what we're going to display inside of the text or sorry in our drop down menu um, if you wanted to look for specific languages this is where you can then filter out the language but for now what we're going to do is we're going to add these voices into our options button so what we're going to do is we're going to say I'm going to come in and say for V in voices. All right, so each of those dictionary entries, we're going to get our voice options variable we created, which is our option button, our drop down, and call add item on it. And what we're going to add is we're going to add V for that dictionary item, and we're going to add the name, and that's under the key in this dictionary called name. So if we run this now, we should now see in our dropdown, we have all options here. Now you may have one, you may have two. Uh, if you're bilingual, you may have uh, more. And you can, I believe you can add these voices in by adding in more languages uh, inside of your uh, settings for your operating system. But all right, so we have those voices down. Now, how do we actually select this? 
when it comes to actually doing our TTS. So how do we know which one we're going to select? And how do we actually do the TTS? Well, we're going to need a few variables here. So when our speak button gets pressed, I'm just going to add a little space here for us. I'm going to create a few variables. We're going to need the text that we're looking for, which of course is going to be a string. And that's just going to be our text input, which is the text edit node and get the text property off of that. So now text is the thing that we want to say. I'm going to create another variable called VID and this is going to be the voice ID. All right. So since this is an ID, this is going to be an integer. And since we are adding things in order that they appear in our array of voices, we can actually use this ID. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to set this equal to uh, our voice options dot get selected ID and this is going to return to us the ID of uh, the voice that we currently have selected so if we have the second option selected this is going to give us a VID of one if we have the first item it's going to return to us zero if we have the third it's going to return to us two and so on all right, so now with this ID, we know which voice in our array that we want to use. And in order for us to actually use or perform a TTS, we actually need to get the ID from uh, that voice entry in our list. All right, so I'm going to create a variable called speaker. It's going to be a string. And here we can access our voices, all right? And we can, the entry one we want to access is our VID, right? The entry that comes back. So if the first verse and first item selected, then we want to get the first item in our voices. And what we want to get from there is inside of that, as I was saying with the speaker, we want to get the ID. So we want to access the ID key and get the value from that all right so now we have everything that we need in order to use TTS all right, so I'm gonna say TTS oh, sorry not TTS we got to go to our display server first dot TTS underscore speak and if I just back that up there uh, you can notice here we have a few options here we can pause we can resume uh, we can set the callback. We can check if it's currently speaking, if it's paused. And as you see there, aside from get voices, we can get voices for a specific language. So if you wanted to maybe have uh, this set up in your game, if the user selects Russian for their language, then you could get just the voices for Russian. If someone selects English, you could get just the voices for English. So you could do it that way if you wanted to do it and make it language specific. But for this purposes, I'm not, and you can see I can scroll down and we do have a few more. This speak that we're going to use, there's stop, and we have a, a couple more options in there. But the main one we're going to be looking for is TTS underscore speak. And that can take a few uh, parameters here. As you see, the first option is going to be a piece of text, which is our variable that we created. And this takes a voice in the form of a string which is fine because that's what we get back from the ID. We get the actual voice. So we can pass in the speaker. Now when we run this, we can go ahead and say, hey, this is text to speech working inside the Gato engine. And we could hit speak. Hey, this is text to speech working inside the Godot engine. If we go ahead and select zero, we're going to have a VID of one because it's the second item. That one is going to be used to uh, grab the correct ID for the speaker. And when we hit speak. Hey, this is text to speech working inside the Godot engine. And the same thing if we select it or not, it's going to be a third option. We're going to have a VID of two get passed in to select that voice. Hey, this is text to speech working inside the Godot engine. So you can see we have how this can work and just to show the other ports i'm going to go ahead and do a wait get tree uh, we're going to create a timer for one second 
and we'll just take a look here just how easy it is so tts slash uh, not slash underscore and we can say pause I'll wait another whoops I'm getting my fingers all mixed up here so we can create another timer for another one second pause and then say we want to continue that so tts underscore resume all right so we're going to start speaking pause and then continue hey this is text to speech working inside the goat engine now you may not have noticed that so let me go ahead and put like a three second pause there that should be more noticeable for us and I'll just open that back up. Hey, this is text to speech. Working inside the Godot engine. So you see how easy it is for us to go ahead and uh, do, access this. So, and of course, if we were to hit stop, then there's not going to be anything to resume. So we might get an error. Hey, this is text. Let's see, we stopped three seconds. And we're trying to resume. Uh, it looks like we don't get any errors, which is nice. Um, but we're not resuming anything because we didn't pause. So there's nothing to resume. We fully stopped it. All right. So there's how you use TTS to speak. So if you want to add some accessibility, there's how you stop it, pause, and resume. All right. Take care. Have yourselves a good one. And I'll see you guys in the next one. If you want to support the channel, check out the Patreon. I was going to say something else, but it just left my mind <laughs> three o'clock in the morning, but take care. Have yourself a good one. And I'll see you guys next time.